Okay, so you just no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so for me, I think what I'm really trying to understand. So, fucking, I'm just confused, dude. I'm trying to explain it, but if you keep yelling at me, I'm not. Oh, and now she. Okay, you know what? I promised myself I would set a clear boundary. I do not like the way you're painting me right now. You can think about me what you wish. I feel like this conversation is no longer productive. It's unsafe and it's unhealthy. You're trying to gaslight me or whatever gaslight. you're trying to do to make me feel some type of way. I know exactly what you're doing and I'm not going to stand for I it. I don't think Ooh. I don't think that yelling. Like at the end of that conversation it does feel like Kyla's in the wrong in my opinion. Well, but that's timestamp link at the beginning context. and all. We can see I guess. This is just all a joke? Yes, it is a joke. <laughs> Does T <laughs> Gene 500 IQ? But isn't that fucking pathetic? Merc is so triggered. Holy. Merc going dumb versus hair at highlight. Okay, kick chat. What do you want? What happened? I'm just reading chat because I, like, I don't know if, and I'm not, I don't know. No, between us, like you definitely, there's like some sort of like tension now between us. No, there's not. No, I'm <clears throat> talking about like making sure I'm not like making sure i'm making sense and I'll, I'll, like everyone looks at their chat to see if uh they're making sense and i i'm not saying anything wrong they're they're getting what i'm saying so it's like it's always this kind of frustration it's like well if my community understands me why can't anyone else understand me that's when i get frustrated because i want to be understood I think i'm understanding you it, to be fair i think i am understanding you i think where <laughs> maybe my hesitation is coming in uh -oh. sorry what sorry. uh oh uh oh. Should we? I don't know what's happening. Should we continue talking or? No, I'm just because like now you've got me tripping in my head. Like if if I'm not making sense because you're saying that I'm playing. You with are the... making sense. Okay. No, you okay. are making sense. Okay. I think the I think the issue that we're running into is we're agreeing a lot more than I think that you think that we're agreeing. I'm not thinking I'm of not it. I, I'm not thinking of a scope of agreeing or not. I'm thinking of it as learning who you are, learning what your thoughts I'll are. I'll say it in. Okay, I'll say it in a feelings way. I don't feel like you're understanding what I'm saying. I don't feel like I'm being seen right now. That's like no, I, on you're, my side. You're, my you're a, what, is there like a crackling on the mic or something? Or am I losing my mind? <clears throat> opinions are validated, but that doesn't mean I have to change because of how you feel. I, I'm not asking you to change. And that's my frustration is that you're still not seeing me. But you said, you the, that you said the whole point of a debate was to change my mind or a conversation. Of course, that's the point of a debate. But you just but said that, you, changing I, your mind that you're not trying to change. You. Oh, we are arguing in circles. I'm so Wait, confused. I don't want to... Okay. What do you think that I feel about you? Who I... do you think I think you are so far? It's not about who you think I am. I think you just don't like the fact that I have no personal responsibility for something that you don't agree with. I don't have a dislike for that. I disagree with you. Okay, same thing. Like, dislike, I, disagree, as an semantics, idea. right? Okay, so you dis no, 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 disagree. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, so for me, I think what I'm really <laughs> trying to understand, so again, what I'm feeling in this conversation is I think that you're not feeling seen by me, which is why you're like disconnecting, you're reading your chat more than you were before. Because um, I'm so, like con dude, I'm so confused i don't you because the I whole promise you your chat isn't going to tell you the answer if, like, no i know but i still can get engaged you said yourself you if someone in your chat if a majority of your chat saying one thing maybe there's something to introspect on right that's what i'm doing i'm trying to have a moment of introspection to make sure that i'm not saying anything that is outright like crazy <laughs> i just want to say how wild it is to say I'm having a moment of introspection by externally validating or invalidating my feelings with a chat that's really funny sorry you do it too. You just said you said a while ago you did it, so that's what I'm doing. Granted, it may be a little inappropriate to do it right now, but it's live feed chat. I need to get a live feed based on how they're receiving what I'm saying. Because your community is your community, my community is mine, and as long as they're happy, I'm happy. So. <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> what? Uh, oh, she's doing the max strategy. I'm just kidding. The same kind of point. I don't think you're seeing me, and I'm really trying to communicate to you that I'm trying to see Okay, you. I say it's not productive, so we move on. <laughs> Agree to disagree. All right, next part of the topic, and I'm not trying to rush you or invalidate what you. We're, I don't know what we're disagreeing on. Oh, okay. Oh. You said vulnerability and all this stuff is like a part of your thing. If you'd yeah. like to stop talking, that's fine. It's not that I what want I'm to stop talking. I'm just confused dude i'm trying to explain it but if you keep yelling at me i'm not oh and now she, okay you know what 
I promised myself I would set a clear boundary. I do not like the way you're painting me right now. You can think about me what you wish. I feel like this conversation is no longer productive. It's unsafe and it's unhealthy. So I think it's it's not, I think it's past the point of productive. So either we change the topic or we call it a night and I go get ready for my other interview. That's the most. Her other, oh my God, her other interview. She's making the circuit right now healthiest options I can think of right now because we are not seeing eye to eye. You're trying to gaslight me or whatever gaslight. you're trying to do to make me feel some type of way. I'm not triggered. I'm really not. I, I'm really but why not. are you saying I don't to... understand? Like, what? What? what why? Is... I'm, I'm telling you my feelings. I'm not telling okay. you. I'm okay. Okay. And feeling. I'm telling you that I don't, I don't get what you're like. I'm not, I'm confused. And I, now, I understand that. And now you're trying to say I'm, I'm yelling, you. which is trying to paint me as a, an aggressive person. I know exactly what you're doing and I'm not going to stand for I it. I don't think, oh. I don't think that yelling makes you an aggressive person. What I'm saying is in this conversation, I'm not feeling super seen, which makes I don't the conversation. Feel seen. I don't feel seen. I, I know. I so then there's no that. point. Is we it? both don't see each other. This is how I feel. I don't like, I don't know what else to say. Okay. Sure. That makes sense. We looped. Hello. What? Hello. Hey, did Hi. you did you watch the Kyla and Merck conversation? Um, I watched like the end of it. It seemed a little uh, a little a little schizo. A little did schizophrenic. Did it seem a little schizo, or are people like primed to to not like Merck, or to see like schizo and Merck? Um, probably a bit of both, but I think she was also being, yeah, a little schizo. Why? Because I, I can't tell anymore at this point. I think I'm a little, um, I think my mind is a little poisoned on her. And so I wanted to see. I feel like she was a little bit thought. wacky at the end of that conversation. I only watched the end. I didn't watch the whole thing. So why do you was think she? that people are being unfair or what? I do. I get a feeling like people are being unfair. I think it's because it's easy to punch down on her right now because she got that crazy ass fucking tattoo of XQC. Yeah, a little bit, but I also think that um, I think she definitely gives off a like main character vibes. Like I'm the main character, and she's like definitely like romanticizes and heroes her own life. Yeah, but isn't that like a streamer? Not to the level that she does it, and probably not when you're just an upcoming been streaming for a month streamer as well. So. Ah, oh, that's true. Maybe. She's done really good for just streaming for a month, though. She has done pretty well, but then, yeah. Wouldn't that warrant, like, a main character feeling? Possibly, but then that would also warrant people not liking her, right? If you see somebody with that kind of attitude that early on, I think people would probably get reasonably, like, pretty irritated. And she's also a little, yeah, she's just a little bit wacky, too, I think. I understand yeah, people's feelings better, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense why they feel that way. But the question is, is she doing something wrong? Um, like it, you can understand why people have an off feeling, but that doesn't make that. I think the issue is she's got like action. she's got like very 2012, like 16 year old vibes for the Internet. Like when somebody's like, oh, well, everybody's racist. Well, everybody's got problems. Well, everybody can do anything. And that's just my world. And we should all be allowed to do whatever. And I'm just on my journey and blah, blah, blah like that kind of thing. Like it's it, probably a lot of what she says comes off as kind of like platitudes and not very well thought out opinions or positions on things. And then people hear that. And then if she starts arguing against somebody with a little bit more well thought out position or something like Kyla or whatever, people probably just get irritated like listening to her. Yeah. Did you watch the whole conversation or just um, just like the last like five minutes? Do you plan on watching the whole thing? Um, not right now. Why do you think it's worth watching? I think it is because I think those last five minutes are just like up in the air. I feel like it could go either way, but I'm more inclined to believe that like Kyla is good faith. Um, hmm. Does that make sense? I feel like the way that it ended, in my opinion, it doesn't make, uh, what's her face? It doesn't make Merck look bad to me. But I think from the start of the conversation, I get the opposite vibe. Huh. Um, what, that, wait, that Merck is more in the right and Kyla's in the wrong? Like at the end of that conversation, it does feel like Kyla's in the wrong, in my opinion.
Well, but that's timestamp link at the beginning context. and all. We can see, I guess. Um, can somebody's timestamp in like the beginning? Cherry, call it erudite. Say it. You're dancing around it with destiny. Uh oh. First of all, August, when I'm dancing, you will fucking know. Okay, it'll be like an earthquake. But, uh, Is like that I a said, fat joke? <laughs> like I said, I think the end of the conversation, I think Merck makes Kyla look like she's being a gaslighter. But I think from the start of the conversation, I think Kyla was, um, uh, good faith throughout. Yeah, it's okay, just, I, I just like need, the, uh... Those last five minutes look really bad, in my opinion. Uh -huh. I just need the, um... Yeah, I need a timestamp, and I guess I can watch. Find out, yeah. Okay, I'll find it. I think it's only on kick, though. I don't know. I'll find it and link okay. it to you. Or try okay, to link it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey! Oh my god, and she's my type, dude! Holy shit! Oh my god! Says you. No, it says you. Friend. What did you do to get banned? Uh, so the first time... See, I have a bad habit of not obeying TOS. And, like, I just do what I want. And anyway, so I was on there, and I was playing The Sims. And I had the Wicked Whims mod, and that was the first time that got me banned. The other time was for Wait, hate... The Wicked Whims mo mod. It's where your Sims get naked, and, like, you can f in Sims and shit like that. So, you know... <laughs> Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I was, like, apparently having hate speech or something because I made a comment about transgenders. Um, and then the third time was because I went completely off the rails crazy and, like, had a full-on, like, not even, like, just a meltdown. Like, I was, like, driving crazy. Like, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. It was whenever my boyfriend had broken up with me initially and it got really dark and bad. And, then yeah, found my way out of it, so... Okay. Interesting. Okay. So you're banned on there. Okay, now I'm off Twitch now, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to get my chat working. There we go. Holy shit, this has been such a nightmare. I got this new chat system, and it's great because it has this fun TTS system. But yeah, it's, it's a nightmare sometimes. Okay, we got it. We got it going. Uh, what should we talk about? What do we have in common? I don't really know any of your viewpoints on anything, and now hearing that you're a very green-walled memer, that creates an even greater layer of mystery. <laughs> well, I can either be honest, because I've been, I've actually been enjoying coming onto people's streams and, like, having real conversations and, like, dropping the act, because I feel like that's very important, because people, the whole point of streamers and like viewers and stuff I think is to feel connected to the world to feel like they're a part of something and the more vulnerable you are with someone the more connected they feel so I really have been enjoying like opening up and just being who I am and just hanging out and chilling lately I I think so I had somewhat of a business model not really a business model but like a plan for how I wanted to come into streaming and mm -hmm. I think I executed it perfectly came on saying hard R saying all these slurs doing things that were kind of like holy sh like who is this Crazy. girl and why is she yeah and so then like once i was past that phase i'm now into a phase where i'm like kind of going through metamorphosis where i'm dropping some of the edgy shit i'll still troll but introduce more of an authentic side of me i guess you could say there's like a whole formula in my head that i use so okay you should walk me through so i'm i'm not a bit person at all i don't do bits i will troll people a little bit mm -hmm. but you troll like, i'll troll at Steven or like other people, but it's usually people who probably know me decently yeah. well and will figure out that I'm trolling pretty quickly. Um, except for my chat, it doesn't catch on mm -hmm. when I troll people. They're starting to, they're getting better. Um, what goes through, What what's like the psychological process where you go, I'm gonna make like a persona mm -hmm. that's really eye catching and do that on the, like, what what drives you? Because and I'm not talking like negative about mm -hmm. it. I I think it's pretty neutral. I just like, it's just not something I feel like I could commit to. Like I'm like, what if what if I drop my persona like halfway through? You know. Um, so for me, it's like, it all comes very naturally. Like, 
it's not something I have to practice. It's not like when I used to do theater or musicals or anything. Like, it just happens naturally. And, like, I develop these thoughts in my head, like, okay, well, this worked, but this didn't, and then this worked, but this didn't. So it's like I kind of formulate that in my head where it's like, this is what I have to do. And, you know, I just... I just do it. I don't really put much thought into it. You know, I'm a very, like, I trust the universe a lot, and I'm very, like, spiritual. So it's like, I don't know. I feel like as long as I'm feeling good and I'm feeling happy and doing things with the right intention, which is to entertain people, that I will be protected. And, you know, I do things offline that definitely help protect me even more on the Internet. But, you know, people aren't aware of that. They just think that I'm crazy and dox myself and do all these things. But in reality, everything I've done so far up to this point has been intentional. Wow. Mm, okay interesting so then i guess what are your what are your like goals for streaming like what do you want to my only goal for streaming my only goal for streaming is to feel alive like a fulfillment and i whether it's uh, for me it's not so much like the money is definitely helpful because then it's like it gets me to a point where maybe someday eventually i could eventually just stop working and like stream full-time because it's what i want to do but like for me it's just when you it's hard to explain when you know you found your thing you know like it just feels like second nature to you it feels like what you're meant to be doing i i I work all day and then i come home and i look forward to streaming you know i feel like i'm just hanging out with people and i think for me as someone who's very reclusive and doesn't have many friends in real life like it's my escape i i enjoy entertain it's just like a culmination of so many positive things that it's just hard to put into words. Mm-hmm. When did you start streaming? Like when was your so I out? my what I say is when I started streaming is August seventh. So it's not been it's been a little over a month. I I did stream like maybe once or twice to just try it out, and I didn't keep up with it. But August seventh was when I really like started my. I haven't st- I haven't streamed. I have not not streamed, like ever since I started. Besides one day, so okay. nice. That's impressive. You're grinding in. Um, and so what is your typical content then? Because uh, my chat has basically been like, who this? <laughs> um, I do a little bit of everything. I did start off as like uh, a game streamer. I do like video games. I grew up on video games and stuff like that. Um, but I think I do a little bit of everything. You know, I just re- Oh, wood babies in chat. Wait, is that the... The th- <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna, never mind, just forget me. Recently started doing IRL streams and I sometimes with video games. I like talking. Um, I I don't know, for me it's like, I don't think people do it enough, to be honest. And especially on the internet, if you try and have a conversation or be open and honest, like you're either seen as like trauma dumping or it's like, oh, you talk too much about yourself or this or that. I really like it. And I think everyone should like- When do you leave today? I leave tomorrow night. I don't know if um, I'll stream tomorrow or not. We'll see. And just talking to people because communication is very important and you get to learn a lot about people and differing and dissenting opinions or thoughts or mindsets so i don't know i a lot of my content is talking but you know i'm working on doing other things do we believe it's actually a persona also bad business so um i don't believe it's a persona i don't believe that i think she's legitimately pretty crazy and now she's trying to say like oh this is like kind of a persona and i blah 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 she might exaggerate a little bit as much as anybody does when they go online but i don't believe that it's like all been like just uh wacky xd persona i don't think that's true so okay what is like a like what's like a new idea that you've been trying to like wrestle with or think about and stuff well i'm going to twitchcon which for me is like completely oh god i'm scared to be honest uh i I don't like I don't like going out in public. I don't like meet. I mean, I like meeting new people, but it's like in situations like this, I'm very worry worrisome because they know who I am on the internet. They don't know who I really am. So it's not that I'm insecure and like I'm worried they won't accept me. It's more so like it removes that barrier. You know what I'm saying? It's very real. Like it's a real thing. You're meeting another human. So human. So it kind of worries me for that reason. But yeah, I plan on doing like in real IRL streams with uh, other streamers and stuff like that and. You know, more video gaming. I want to do more story games because I, I really enjoy doing that. Um, and just, yeah, basically stuff like that. Okay. Uh, who Are you going with anybody or are you just... Oh, I'm going up? by my I'm going by myself, but I'm meeting people there. Okay, nice. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll be at TwitchCon and I have a big house with a bunch of streamers mm-hmm. and stuff, so you'll have yeah. to stop by. I have to, yeah, you know. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, and if that makes you uncomfortable, sorry, I'll stop. It doesn't make me uncomfortable, but I'm married, so I... Hey, you know, you just because there's a goalie don't mean you can't score, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> That's, you know, you can hope. One can truly hope. Um, okay, so you're going to TwitchCon. Is there any, like, ideas that you've been wrestling with? Like, uh, thinking about gender dynamics or uh, politics? Or... I think... <sighs> so... To be fair, streaming does not really, like, unless I'm having a conversation like this, streaming does not really, like, bring upon questions that I really need to ponder over. Like, it's very, like, surface level, like, type shit. But I don't know, like, <sighs> something that bothers me is, like, I've noticed on the internet, everyone has an opinion about things, which is fine. If it's on the internet, I believe that you can have an opinion. But it's like when you get asked questions, it's like people don't want to hear the answer. It's like you're answering their questions, but like there's this issue where it's like they think you're lying or, you know, you, they think you're coping or like it's just like why go searching for answers if you don't want them? You know what I'm saying? And I and I noticed that's like a common thing, which then again, maybe it's just like the point of the drama or the point of the content and like the entertainment. But it's like it just doesn't make sense. Like why waste your energy like arguing with someone if you're not going to want to hear what they have to say? So you're not super into the debate. I, I enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I used to be on the debate team uh, when I was in school and like Scholar Bowl and stuff like that. I enjoy it. But how does she used to do everything in school? Uh, you ever notice that? Jesus. Structured environment, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Interesting. So you're mostly here to have a good time um, on stream. You want to have like good conversations. What is your like troll persona? Like what have you because you said that you were just going to drop a lot of slurs and stuff like that to kind of like pop off. Is that your plan in the future? Is like, oh, no, that part are you like, I mean, trained? I mean, for me, I believe and people don't agree with me on it. It's fine. I believe that everyone is a little racist. I think that everyone deserves to be made fun of um, as in like, OK, say I make fun of you for something. You have every right to make fun of me for it, too. And I feel like people what would you make fun of me for. I want to know uh, you your best roast. I, I, but that's the thing. Like, I don't like you're hot there's nothing like i want to roast you about <laughs> yeah but i mean i'm sure there's something i could be you can uh, still be and still be roast worthy or do uh, you only roast how people look no i mean like that's the thing with women i don't really roast them on the internet like you, if you like watch my streams consistently i tend to leave the women alone just because i know what it's like to be a woman in the streaming space uh but with men like if anything goes black mexican fat i don't care and if you say something about me yeah you can say that i don't care because it's true I'm very open. I'm very honest. I'm an open book. So it's like, you know, so you I would, feel... I so feel you like, wouldn't make fun of me? There's nothing you'd roast me over? Um, I Can you stand up a little bit and do a little oot to doot A little oot to doot Your only roast is going to be on how I look. No, I'm, okay, I'm sure. assessing you. I'm assessing you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you know, that was just a ploy to get to see what you were working. Oh, do you go to the gym? Oh my god! Oh, I didn't care about him. But, uh, no, like I guess I would roast um, uh, your your fuck. I don't know. You're perfect. What can I say? <laughs> I'm I'm very, 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 all right. You'll just have to get to know me more to figure out. What I don't like the cadence doing. of your voice. Jesus! That's not there physical. you go. Oh my God! A lot of people don't like the cadence of my voice. Okay, what do you dislike about the cadence of my voice? Uh, it sounds too radio. I hate the sound. I hate the... Okay, so, like, I have, like... I guess I'm too stiff. Yeah, a misophonia. I don't know if you know that, but, like, certain sounds, like, really, like, like grind my gears and, like, I get super overstimulated. But, like, if, like, the radio host... How, do I believe... Does every single fucking streamer have every single fucking disease, phonia? Is that true? Is that real? I feel kind of... It feels a little wacky sometimes, but whatever. Can't people just not like a thing? in the morning like i can't stand listening to radio hosts in the morning because it's just their voice is like nails on a chalkboard so yeah you have one of those radio voices that i don't like the riz oh. card is crazy you really hate my voice i don't hate i mean you're sexy so it's you make degrading. up for it should i put on like a really bad accent would that fix it do whatever you want i don't care i mean you're trying to impress me? You're trying to... You like me. See, here's the thing. I'm very charming, okay? I'm very charming. I'm very becoming. And yes, I'm going to brag a little bit, all right? I'm not going to be humble right now. I'm very charming. So after people meet me, I think they're so ready, like, with their guns ready, like, oh, she's going to be this, she's going to be this. They have these preconceived notions, and then when they meet me, they see how adorable I am, and I think you're falling in love with me. Okay. How long do you think it'll take for me to fall in love with you? How long before I will be divorcing my husband and chasing after you? 
Um, well, first of all, I wouldn't let you do that because I don't want you like that. But like, probably baseline. I give it a week. A week. Yeah. Damn. Are you planning to talk to me a lot, or is this our only? Oh, I, I just got it. I just got to look at you. Give you that look. <laughs> show me your squirtle or whatever yeah, yeah. the fuck you're I can show you a squirtle, all right? You, you'll be squirtling <laughs> all over, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, so I have a knowing voice, and that's it. That's all I get? Damn, yeah. I feel fucking shafted. Not fuck. in a good way. Yeah. I'm already let down. I was expecting some... I was expecting some, like, brutal roasts. No, why would I? Why would why I? Why are we watching do this? I don't know. People said it gets unhinged. I don't know how long we have to go to get past I don't this. I want to like roast someone and sit here and like. Sure, I'll joke with you about how hot you are, but like I'm not gonna sit here and like demean someone even jokingly because you're making you are like you and a few others are the only ones that like. Oh shit! Hold on. My telepharmacist. Okayed me for Vivance. Hold on. Near the end, he kind of got annoyed with me. Um, which I mean, I didn't. I fucking blew it. Dude, I fucking blew it. Did so. Felix seem like he didn't like you, or that was he? Annoyed? I mean, I don't. I think he was very like distant from <laughs> shit like that. Like, I don't think he felt any type of way. But I genuinely think that maybe like near the end, he kind of got annoyed with me. Um, which I mean, I I I, I don't want to hear that. But like, I was annoying. I'm I'm gonna admit it. I was annoying. I was cringe. It was just it was just a bad night. It was just a bad night, an off night, and. <laughs> no, I I think it just sucks because like I genuinely like wanted to talk to him and like like I don't know not just because like obviously he's I'm attracted to him but like I, I feel like that I feel like <laughs> I feel like the Merc convo with XQC I feel like it was one of the first times where somebody was truly like fangirling like glazing oh man that was you guys are just attack him because he's famous you guys are taking, oh man that was a <laughs> that was some good memes oh that was some good memes. I just that's why I was trying to ask like career questions and stuff because he is so successful and he does he is very similar to me in like the like the way we behave um not that I have talked to him too much to know but like just how he streams and stuff like I find him funny because I find it like it'd be something that I would do so it just it, you know I just I ruined it and I just gotta I gotta move on it was a lesson to not always jump at the first opportunity because a better opportunity may come uh, do you have an XQ XQC tattoo? No, I do not. Well, where did you hear that insane? Uh, okay. When X said, no, you should listen to Destiny, and she said, but I want to listen to you. <laughs> oh, that was a yikes. Lie. Where, where did you hear that from? What are you talking about? Thoughts on the tattoo? It's on, somebody's saying it's on your finger. It, it just says X, oh my gosh, you actually have an XQC Can tattoo. Can I explain? But, you know, like, the con oh my it, God. It, it, that topic, not the whole convo. Yeah. And I'm not gonna do these anywhere because it, it, it goes nowhere. Oh, she does come out, okay, here we go. Two phone, because I say they never we'll watch, right? Maybe the they're end. already that way. Maybe it's just like, it's like their natural tendency to be that way. And I'm not saying it's right just because it's like natural, it's not right, but. Like, who's to say that you were just the thing that made them realize they were? And that's not your problem, because they were always that way. They were always saying those I'm things. I'm not saying, I'm not saying I'm changing these people. Mm -hmm. That's not what I'm saying. Oh, okay. I'm not saying, like, I'm, I'm morally responsible for changing these people. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, if my community makes people who, like, try to justify a man hitting a woman in the face with a brick, oh, and be like, yeah. no, that's base, that's right? Shitty. That's I, shitty. I, I, well, more importantly, I don't want you in my community, mm -hmm. if that's what you think. And if that's what you think that my community is comfortable with, you can be in my community, have that opinion, and no, nobody agrees with me on community. That's totally fine. But if you are entitled towards my community and saying, Erudite would agree with me on this, and I'm like, yeah, no, I fucking wouldn't. That's like the flag to me. So if I start seeing like this growth of a space of being like, no, Erudite would agree with us for like just ruthlessly mocking and bullying like a, yeah. a, a mentally ill person. The reality is, no, I wouldn't. And if I see that popping off in my community, I go, what am I doing that's communicating that to the people watching me that I would in any way support their behavior, especially mm -hmm. at my size. Like, I'm sure by the time you're at 10,000, that's a lot harder to do. Like, mm -hmm. I don't covet Destiny or Vosh. But I know, like, two to 400 viewer person um, feels like something that you can definitely have your head, like, finger on a little bit better. I will say this, and I'm 
I, I completely respect what you're saying. I, I, I feel like your feelings are valid. Um, but, like, I will say this, that ever since I've removed mods from... Like, I have no mods. The only reason I have a mod is, like, just to change title and cat, right? But, like, I feel like if you automatically assume that people are going to do their worst, that they will. And so, like, I've noticed that since I don't censor people... I mean, sure, they say shitty shit, but it's, like, joking, right? Because I'm able to discern that. Because it's my community, I know when we're joking, and I know when we're being serious, and my chat knows. And if I've, if it's ever been where it's, like, I'm not joking, like, I'm able to, you know, uh, communicate that. But I feel like the less restriction you give people, like, the less they're going to want a bucket. You know what I'm talking about? Like, the more you restrict someone from saying these evil things, they're more likely to say it. Well, what about, okay, two phone to a bitch with a midget boyfriend. I'm not joking. He's trolling. Is two phone? Because I know two phone. He's trolling. He's gen. That's he's trolling. So you don't think that two phone thinks that I'm a stupid bitch? <laughs> no, bitch. because if he did, he he wouldn't be. No, he literally what says. What about TG nine? The conversion is at one to one. Say I was zoned. Uh, I was zoned out. What else is two person? Go to her chat and tell her to shut the. F up. Damn. Uh oh. Uh, he's joking. Erudite watcher to text. He's joking. <laughs> He's joking. Did mocking somebody who's like defending me. They're joking. Yes, she has 200 See, it on worked. YouTube, Bozo. Tell her to go back to asking questions. This other bitch was like 40 viewers and it's evident why. This is just all a joke? Yes, it is a joke. <laughs> Does T... <laughs> G 500 IQ. Know that you don't believe anything that he's saying. Yes, they're all very aware. Funny. Interesting. Because they know, they know actually, and I've talked about this explicitly that mm -hmm. I don't, I don't treat women like shit on the internet. <laughs> what does it mean to treat? This, you're retarded. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sure he is good. He's just taking uh, time with what happened. She's butt hurt. Chat hates her. I beat women up. That one's probably exclusively a troll. <laughs> huh. Epic. What? I'm not. I'm. Who's trick? I mean, okay, this one. Kalish saying that I fuck dogs is definitely a troll. Is it? It's just you. Uh, you would somebody have says to. you're gonna hand wave it all as trolling, but the community is a legit sweat city. Is a little sweat city. Not gonna lie. Oh. Y'all make me hate women even more. I'm punching my dog right now. Okay, well that's partially a troll. So you see how you're able to like get to know people. Some of it's a troll. <laughs> this, issue, this is the thing. Sometimes oh it's a joke, and sometimes it's a half true joke, right? So I'm 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 used to getting. I don't really mm. care about any of these comments. Like, I, I don't give a fuck what like the twenty percent says. The issue is that like when I read this. So for example, when I have people on my show, I'm and I'm not telling you you have to have the same mm. community as me, but let's be honest. TG94 doesn't like me, obviously. What makes Are you not going to call out how fucking retarded Erudite is being by trying to police another streamer's chat? Wait, what? JSTLK, do you think she's trying to police her chat? Are you f retarded? I don't think Erudite's trying to police the chat. She's just demonstrating to Merc that when you say it's all trolls and jokes and memes, these people are gonna say things that it's hard to tell if they're actually trolls, jokes, or memes. I don't think she's trying to police the chat. Makes you say that every single thing that he has said about me, which he's allowed to dislike me. He's trolling. <laughs> Only trolling. There's not a single true thing you don't, he's ever said. We've had, I've had serious conversations with him before. I know when he's trolling. I believe you. This is also, she's like a Zoomer. I don't even remember how old Merck said, but this is like that, that shitty thing of um, like, what does trolling mean? Trolling isn't just being mean to somebody. Trolling is when you say things that you legitimately know aren't true to fuck with people. Destiny, okay, there's literally every chat. If you focus on the chat, it will absolutely increase. The exercise is completely meaningless. You can pretend it's not, but you're coping so hard. True, Jessica. my bad. I reevaluated. I think I am coping really hard. Merck's chat per capita is probably about as bad as anybody's chat. In fact, I think probably all chats are more or less the same. The And the behavior of the streamer or the moderation probably has little to absolutely no impact on how those chats act. You're probably right, Gistical. Good point, good point, good point. Definitely not just spitefully like pushing back on every single thing Erudite says because you're a hater. I think that's a really good point, yeah. You that 
Okay, so you think that he actually has a really neutral view, and he's like, yeah, she's actually pretty. He's nice. just trolling. He's just like he's not saying super and, hate. And even like with me, I have, like I said, I have some of those beliefs that I'm saying. It's just played up. Like uh, you know what I'm saying? Like he probably probably is misogynistic, but he's playing it up. He would never actually say this shit to a real woman. <laughs> Wait, what is the troll? Okay, he's probably misogynistic. He is saying this to you. He does feel these things, but he's trolling. Wait, what is the troll? Because I've had conversations with him that show I'm me I'm sure way. he wouldn't say it to a real woman, but isn't that f***ing pathetic? It's not my problem. <laughs> to work through. I, and again, this isn't like Merc, like, I'm not like shitting on Merc 100%, because like she is like an, a child to the internet, right? She's probably, she seems relatively new to it. And she's also new to streaming, so I'm not going to be like super harsh, but like, damn, what an answer. Wait, organic... Algae, slime, boom, boom, there we go. <laughs> I'm not misogynistic. I know how I feel about women. And I think- Are I've, you playing with I've the DLC enabled? Yes. That, especially online, because I, I have always tried to be kind to other women, even if they're not kind to me. I've tried, I've genuinely tried. And I think that I actually give women an easier time on the internet. <laughs> because there are some women that I've come across that I just want, I want to lay into. But women already get it so much. Let's do it to the men. Let's make fun of the men. Let's, you know. But that being said, if they do make misogynistic jokes, I'm not going to change my sense of humor. I think humor. men get shit on way more than women do. Really? I think, the, I think our society is basically like anything goes with men by and large. No, I agree. But don't you think it's funny to bully men on the internet? In real life, I agree. I feel like men get treated worse than women. I, you know, I believe that women actually do get a lot do more Do I think than it's men. funny to bully on the internet? Bully men, no. yeah, make jokes and troll and roast people. You've never watched a roast on Comedy Central? Huh. Well, there's a really big difference, right? This is the issue with like What's this the difference? Kind of troll the view mentality. count? Do you think that I think that the difference is the view count? Because there's Pete Davidson used to make jokes about his dead dad in the Twin Towers, and that's funny. But when I say something evil like that, it's evil. <laughs> oh my God, her humor and troll and everything understanding is so unbelievably crude. Maybe. It depends on the context around it. His dad died in 9-11. He, he turned into ash, right? And he made a joke about it. Uh -huh. Me, I got diddled by my dad at the age of eight, and I make jokes about it, and I'm wrong. Or that's bad. No one is critiquing her or about those types of jokes. Wait, no, I'm, I'm talking about maybe, others. Maybe I'm others. I don't have a problem with any of the jokes that you've made so far. Okay, I'm just, no, I'm just talking in general, because you said that. Right, the issue is, what we're trying to say is, there is going to be a point where people absolutely hide their hatred behind, it's just a troll, mm -hmm. it's just a joke, bro. And it's like, it's not anymore, right? And that's, that's the line that I get like stressed mm -hmm. out, right? Yikes. We've been in girl circles where like, mm -hmm. there's like that one girl who jokes about intentionally leading guys on all the time. And she's like, oh yeah, I just keep around and buy me dinner. And you're all like, ha ha ha, that's obviously not true. And then she makes that joke 30 more times and you're like, no, that's... Just... I don't know, Stacy. I'm pretty yeah. sure you just are doing these things. And you're just, like, just joking in case it, like... You're, like, Schrodinger's fucking troll, okay? Yeah. It's only a joke if people respond and act like that's a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so what is the purpose of, like, why... Like, I guess what 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 answer are you looking for? Like, do you want me to be, like, apologetic? Do you want me to be understanding? Because I understand your point of view, and I respect it, but I don't accept it. Like, I don't, I don't know I what you want. I don't like Damn. the idea of you hand-waving all of chat at all times and saying they're just trolling. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Because I'm not going to change. Like, what? what is, oh, like, what do you, like, she ain't you changing. Are you I'm not fucking leaving. What do you think that I'm saying? I'm not fucking leaving. I don't know. That's why I'm asking. I feel like you're like there has to be a purpose for the question, right? Either it's to get a uh, like a view of how I feel about we're it. We're talking about an idea. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about an idea. So what is and we're what, what do you want? What do you, yeah, what do you, we're talking about the line of responsibility okay. for content and, That was that's what bridge. Yeah, but I answered it right. I don't care. <laughs> Best. And I'm wrestling with you on the idea. Oh, do you just not want to debate the idea. Because, I mean, like, what, we're debate. We talked about it, right? Like I said, like like this is how I view this. Is how, like I don't get where like. We're just arguing in circles because I'm not going to change my viewpoint. You're not going to change yours. We've agreed that I respect your opinion. You respect mine. And I've said how I felt and I've been honest about it. Like, I don't know what else there is to discuss about it. That's what I meant. Like, I'm confused. Okay, so you just don't want to debate this anymore is what you're saying. We can debate it, but it's not really like, what's the point of the debate at the part when, you, when someone admits that they don't care? Merck can't say, I don't want to debate it because she feels like in her head that makes it sound like she's running away. So she's never going to say she doesn't want to debate it. But the reality is she doesn't want to debate it. So she's trying to find like other ways to say it. <laughs>
compare and they don't feel the same way and then you keep asking questions that you answer you've answered before like if you ask me a different question about the topic i can maybe give you something but ultimately i don't care okay yeah and i was trying to see if i could convince you to care a little that's bit what that's okay that is what i wanted to know that is what i wanted to know what you just said you were trying to convince me to see if i cared or whatever you just said that's what i that's what i was asking that's the question that I was wanting answered. What was the purpose? The point is, you, you're not going to be able to because I'm not going to change my mind. Ooh. Okay. What do you think the point of a debate is? Ooh. Um, not just to try to change just, each other's mind. To just discuss viewpoints and just get to know people and like see how people think and feel. The point of a debate is just to get to know people. <laughs> what? Okay. That's what really? I think a debate. Yeah. What's the best way? The best way to debate to end a debate with Destiny is to be in that Discord. Oh. Oh, making fun of yourself is different than being racist towards others, et cetera. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why I said her understanding of like humor and shit is very crude. It's like, imagine you call somebody the N-word and somebody's like, why would you do that? And you're like, well, I'm just trolling. And it's like, why would you troll that way? And it's like, okay, well, I got raped by my dad and I joke about myself getting raped by my dad. Are you saying I can't do that? And it's like, what, what the f***? What are we even talking about right now? What? That's how I view it. Because I, me, I don't feel like it should be like, because... If someone's made up their mind, they're not going to change. Their Sam Sturgeon 96, you are a sturgeon. You are a sturgeon. You are a sturgeon. Mine. So there's a, the the only other option would be to get to know someone, get to know how they think, get to know how they click, what makes them feel the way they do, what makes them think the way, and don't even change. Because if you're trying to have a conversation with the with the goal of changing their mind. I feel like you miss a lot of things because you're just your only goal is to change their mind, right? So if you just go in a debate thinking I'm going to respect this person, I'm going to hear how they feel, I'm going to I'm going to like get to the bottom of why they think the way they do, I feel like it's much more productive compared to I'm going to change your mind. You know what I'm saying? Cuz you don't really listen. You know, you're not actively listening and yes you are, but I'm just saying like it's not you go you, do you think that around. my mind could be changed? I don't know. I have no thought on that. I'm not trying to change your mind. So then why were you debating me? Because I'm, I'm trying to get the question that answered, and you answered it. You said your goal is to change my mind. So, please reach out to Ethan. His separate is shaking their boots. That so y'all will talk. Listen, if Ethan ever wants to chat, I'll do it. But I don't want to like. One, it seems a little weird to impose myself because Ethan knows that me and Hassan are mortal enemies. I'm not gonna do to Ethan what Hassan did to like me and Trihex. That's fucking weird. Right? If he then wants to have a conversation about any of these topics, and I won't even shit on Hassan the whole time I, I, we talk. If he wants to talk about any of these things, like he's like, he, I think he knows he can DM me. He's always welcome to do that. But I'm not about to try to like insert myself there to like break him and Hassan up or like cause fights or any shit. Like that's fucking cringe. Um, yeah, that's for people like Hassan to do. Not gonna lie, my one fear is that Ethan's gonna talk to Destiny and think he's worth listening to. I've seen some people suggest he should and it's extremely annoying, especially since Destiny's obsession over Hassan. I can't see him for sure. Never mind, where's Ethan? Give me his DMs. Wait, what does it say about your ideology if you're so, Senpai Nanny, thanks for something. You're so fucking scared, like, what if he, what if he talks, what if he talks to Destiny for one fucking time? He's gonna fucking completely, like, bro, you think we're gonna have one conversation and all of your shit is gonna get unwoven? unwoven? Un Weaved? Unwoven. It's unwoven, right? Unwoven in like 15 seconds? Like what a stupid fucking, how fragile is your entire belief system if you believe that? That's unreal. I think that would be childish. Oh, you're something I don't like? Then I'll go to a person who despise and despises you. I think Ethan is better than that. Hasanabi head, Jesus. Why would you be afraid? Also, how insulting to baby Ethan, like he's some idiot who'll get infected by destiny. True. True. Destiny gives me weird energy. Something's off about the guy. Could be his use of the N-word, his weird takes on transports, or his general lack of empathy. My general lack of empathy. <laughs> Meanwhile, hold on, wait, where was that picture? Fuck, who just linked that epic fucking Hassan get that bread picture? <laughs> Damn it, it was in chat. 
I feel like we need to step like three steps back because now we're like. Am I not making sense? No, not totally. Here's my okay. So, the question I wanted answered, you answered. You said the point of talking about this part, just this portion of our conversation, is to change my is to change my mind, right? I would say debating is typically for changing people's minds. Yeah. Okay. So that is your personal, like, pre- like that's your thought. My view on debating is to lay aside trying to change anybody's mind and just talking about it. Cause I think that is a more productive conversation. If you just so go you don't, and- Okay. So you don't want to debate is what I'm hearing. Like, cause in my mind, no. debate is always going to be something. Okay. That's your mind. In my I'm mind, debate is a different she thing. She can't hear it. She can never say, I don't want to debate because she feels like it's running away. So she's doing like every single thing she can to like get away from that thing. <laughs> Bro, I'm. You were debating, we're, it's a debate right now, and I'm trying to understand yours, and but I'm not trying to change okay, your thoughts. I'm going to use the word blah, 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 blah to mean what you're talking about. Okay. So when I say debate, I mean trying to convince each other of an idea. And when I say blah, 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 so you're I condescending mean, what I, con- my definition is. I'm not condescending. Well, I'm blah, saying, blah, 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 blah sounds a lot like blah, blah, blah to me. That was like the worst type of pivot Erudite could have done there because she did make it sound like her definition of debate is like child's play. <laughs> that was really bad on Erudite. That's just how my brain works. No. So I'm condescending at the fact that we're having a semantic fight all of a sudden because I don't care, right? My understanding of a debate, and I would say a lot of people's understanding of a debate when we say this is to change the parents of the mind. You said, I want a debate to get to know you. That to me is not a debate. That's a conversation. I don't care about the words necessarily. It sounds like you didn't want to debate. Okay, then let's just call it a conversation. You can see when Merck starts reading chat, she's like, her brain like shut off. You have to be, when you're dealing with children, you have to be like very, very, very gentle. And her brain is like, it's over now. You just wanted to talk about it, like, just have a conversation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. A conversation. Okay. And so what is the point of a conversation? To just understand people, who they are? Because I feel like everyone just listens to people to try and change it or prove something or, like, when in reality, sometimes you just can't. It's best to just look at that person as who they are, love them on a different level, listen to them and that's it like they're i don't know why people always feel like you have to change people granted something needs if it needs to be changed there's nothing you can do about it because a person will not change unless they want to but if you're going to still have that conversation which i am totally open with i feel like it should be done from you're just trying to pick my brains not change my brains interesting i feel like I feel like when people say that they're not trying to change each other, 90% of the time they're just lying. It's like, a, you, you said this actually, I really appreciate this. You said, I have pretty privilege and of course I'm using it because why the fuck? <clears throat> Baradite's also switched into a very aggressive frame too though, I'm saying that. You're just lying. Fuck, what an I. And I'm sure you'd agree, it's fucking cringe when pretty girls just say that they don't have pretty privilege Mm -hmm. and that they say that they're not like utilizing it. It's like the most annoying thing to me when girls like, I don't really have pretty privilege. And it's like, shut up, bitch. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, right? I appreciate that frankness from you being like, yeah, I do have pretty privilege and I'm using it. (laughs) Duh, right? Um, Mark is so triggered, holy shit. It's interesting, she has like such an aggressive personality, but as soon as somebody's like a little aggressive towards her, she runs back to the child space. She goes to chat, looks for the simps, and then she's like completely just done engaging. I don't believe most of the time that people aren't trying to change each other's minds. I would say most dynamics between people, there's an element of like wanting to compromise and bend and flex around each other and ideally find like some level of mutual agreement. But if the agreement isn't there, then like hopefully we can talk about it for long enough that we can like come to an agreement at the end, which typically is a certain level of like change or compromise. Uh, so personally me, I don't, I don't feel that way. I, whenever I, the things I do, I don't do it to change people. I do it in the hopes that they'll want to make that change themselves. If they see someone else being the change, they're more likely to do that. So like you said, like, you know, you influence people, right? I influence people in a different way. Being vulnerable is a big way that I influence people because I can't tell you Why how is she ma- so triggered? She perceived Erudite as attacking her because they had a disagreement over what the purpose of debate was and now her brain is like shut off and she's just like looking at chat <clears throat> for validation basically. Any messages after I've had one of those streams of trauma dumping? I've had people message me, I've had people text me like, yo, like you don't know what that did for me. It's not that I'm trying to change people. I'm showing them that it is okay to change and that if you are not scared of changing, your life will change for the better. (laughs) 
It feels like a really nice way to say the same thing. So maybe help me understand okay. the difference. The difference is I'm not telling people they need to change. I'm I'm just drawing attention to the fact that it is possible. I'm not telling them change. I'm not trying to make them change. They can watch me and they can choose to do whatever they wish with what I'm doing. But it's, I choose to be vulnerable because that is a big part of my life is being vulnerable. And if people see mm -hmm. me being vulnerable, they will be vulnerable and it's been proven time and time again. And like you said, you don't know much about my community, but there are times where we get, we get into deep topics and it's, and we have these serious conversations and it's like, even off stream, I'll be in Discord and we'll talk about like I just I just value being very you know vulnerable and I'm not trying to okay. convince anyone. I, I think that's fine. I guess I f it feels to me like we're basically because what you just outlined, I'm like yeah, I would agree with that by and large, right? Like I think some people are maybe more aggressive in trying to change each other, but I'd say like probably the healthiest <sighs> orientation you would should have is trying to show people that change is possible, right? And like having space for people in between. So I guess when I'm saying, I think 90% of the time people are lying when they're saying that they're not trying to change mm -hmm. people, because I think most people are fundamentally in the space of like both themselves always changing and to some degree hoping other people are changing. And I think the most toxic people are trying to force others to change with like no compromise or like grace for like what that looks like. Uh, ultimately, I don't care what people do who watch me. I just know that I'm going to be the way I am, and if they enjoy it, if they enjoy it, if they don't, they don't. So wow. I don't. Giga Chad. I have literally no thought, no comment. That's I'm not doing anything to make people change. If they change, they change. If they don't, they get to watch me cry. But ultimately, it's it's <clears throat> what I feel like doing. It's what I want to do, and that's that's all. I don't have an answer. I'm not changing my mind. Um, this is how I feel. I don't, like, I don't know what else to say. Wow. Okay, sure. That makes sense. Where would you watch, like, this part? Does it change significantly from it? I'm just reading chat because, I, like, I don't know if, and I'm not, I don't know. No, between us, like, you, definitely there's, like, some sort of, like, tension now between us. No, there's not. No, I'm talking about, like, making sure I'm not, like, making sure I'm making sense. And, I'll, like, everyone looks at their chat to see if, uh, they're making sense, and I, I'm not saying anything wrong. They're they're getting what I'm saying. So watch it's like, afterwards. It's always oh, okay. this kind of frustration. It's like, well, if Mike got agreeing a lot more than I think that you think that we're agreeing. I'm not thinking I'm of not it. I, I'm not thinking it of a scope of agreeing or not. I'm thinking of it as learning who you are, learning what your thoughts I'll say are. It in, okay, I'll say it in a feelings way. I don't feel like you're understanding what I'm saying. I don't feel like I'm being seen right now. That's like no. I, on you're, my side, your your opinions are validated, but that doesn't mean I have to change because of how you feel. I, I'm not asking you to change, and that's my frustration: is that you're still not seeing. Me. But you said you the you said the whole point of a debate was to change my mind or a conversation. Of course, that's the point of a debate. But you just but said that you're changing I, your mind that you're not trying to change. You. Oh, we are arguing in circles. I'm so Wait, confused. I don't wanna... Okay, what do you think that I feel about you? Who I do you think I think you are so far? It's not about who you think I am. I think you just don't like the fact that I have no personal responsibility for something that you don't agree with. I don't have a dislike for that. I disagree with you. Okay, same thing. Like, dislike, I, disagree, as an semantics, idea. right? Okay, so you, dis no, you no, disagree. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, so for me, I think what I'm really trying to understand, so again, what I'm feeling in this conversation is I think that you're not feeling seen by me, which is why you're like disconnecting, you're reading your chat more than you were before. Because um, I'm so, like con dude, I'm so fucking confused. I don't, you, because the I whole. I promise you, your chat isn't going to tell you the answer. If, like, no, I know, but I still can get engaged. You said yourself, you, if someone in your chat, if a majority of your chat saying one thing, maybe there's something to interest. <laughs> Stop with that minute all. On, right? That's what I'm feeling. I'm happy. <clears throat> I don't know what we're disagreeing on. Oh. Okay. Oh. You said vulnerability and all this stuff is like a part of the thing. If you'd yeah. like to stop talking, that's fine. It's not that I what want I'm... to stop talking. I'm just f***ing confused, dude. I'm trying to explain it, but if you keep yelling at me... I'm not... Oh, I... and now she... Okay, you know what? I promised myself I would set a clear boundary. I do not like the way you're painting me right now. You can think about me what you wish. I feel like this conversation is no longer productive. It's unsafe and it's unhealthy. So I think it's, it's not... I think it's past the point of productive. So either we change the topic or we call it a night and I go get ready for my other interview. That's the most- Just to be clear, the girl said she was on the debate team. <clears throat> yeah, apparently she's been on like every single debate, every like every team, every extracurricular, every school, every, yeah, I don't know her. I don't know if she's um, pathologically lying or if she just has an exceptional background or feels like she's done everything. 
most healthiest options I can think of right now because we are not seeing eye to eye. You're trying to gaslight me or whatever <coughs> you're trying to do and make me feel some type of way. I'm not triggered. I'm really not. I, I'm really but why not. are you saying I don't understand? Like what? 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 Why? Is... I'm. I'm telling you my feelings. I'm not telling you. Okay. What I'm okay. I'm and feeling. I'm telling you that I don't. I don't get what you're like. I'm not. I'm confused I, now. I understand. That. And now you're trying to say I'm, I'm yelling, you. which is trying to paint me as a, an aggressive person. I know exactly what you're doing, and I'm not going to stand for I it. I don't think. I don't think that yelling makes you an aggressive person. What I'm saying is, in this conversation, I'm not feeling super seen, which makes I don't the conversation. feel seen. I don't feel seen. I I know. I so then there's no point. We both don't see each other. I I mean, I see you. I'm saying I appreciate your opinion. I validate you. I don't know what else I can do. That's how you feel. All right. Just like how I feel. You. It's the same. We're at a stalemate. So there's no point. Either a, we talk about something that brings us back together, or we end the conversation now. Uh, whatever you would prefer. I don't have like a specific topic on the top of my mind, so. Okay, so if there's nothing else to kind of bring us back, to bring us into the center, then there's no point. Okay. Okay. I mean, it was That's nice. Fine. It was nice talking to you. I guess I, I have no idea what to say. I I don't um, know. But yeah, I, it seems it seems like there isn't something that I can say to you right now. It feels like, if I'm being honest, it feels like. Am I autistic? If I don't know what set Merck off. Um, my guess is going to be is Mark is probably not used to. So like when I had a conversation with her, it went pretty well when she was talking a lot. Um, but the issue is when I talked to her, I didn't challenge her really on anything. I just kind of like let her go. And I think Kylo is trying to have a little bit more of a back and forth. And Mark seems like the kind of person where if you challenge her on anything, she'll shut down. Um, so that's probably what happened is when Kyla, not Kyla wasn't even really challenging her hard, but if you try to like question anything, it's all over. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, if you, if you, um, yeah, I, I, th I think she's just, there's like, <laughs> I want to say especially girls, but it's probably guys too. There are people like that where if you, if you challenge them on anything, they're, they just kind of like shut down and you're kind of done at that point. Everything that I'm saying to you is like <coughs> backfiring and I don't know, I don't know why. I'm not sure what's happening. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, you're valid to feel that way. So, can you go from the with the fact that Mike from PA has more viewers than you? Wait, what? <coughs> Bro, I cannot imagine the exist <coughs> the existence that these people live. Um, the last time I checked, so his concurrent viewership is pretty good. Two to 3,000 viewers, right? That's a big stream. That's a big Twitch stream. Followers on Twitter, still only 27,000. And he tweets how many times? He's got over 20,000 tweets. This guy's audience are entirely Hassan watchers. It is insane how horrible he's done converting his viewership to literally any other platform. I think he tried to do a YouTube channel at one point in time. I don't know if it still exists or... Oh, his uh, 10,000 subs on his YouTube channel. Did he stop uploading? Five months ago, five, yeah, he just couldn't pull, yeah. His audience is insane. He somehow has 5K subs in 2K viewers. I think he just has a, he's got a few whales, I think, but he it's just entirely a Hassan waiting room. Him, him and Denim's fight for Hassan waiting room status. Denims has boobs, so that's helping a bit more, but. Wait. Oh, fuck. What is it? Denim. I thought it was Denim's TV. Oh, it might just be Denim's. Oh, she's. Oh, I thought she was growing faster than this. Oh, she's only got 34,000. She should have way more as like a, for what she does. But bo both of these guys are, the, pr the sad thing about Hassan orbiters is Hassan doesn't h help his orbiters, no free clout. <laughs> so he won't ever interact with them, even though these people like put Hassan in every stream title, they talk about him every stream, they time their streams around him and everything, like, geez. I don't buy, I guess. I don't, I don't enjoy the conversation. Thanks for allowing me to come on, I guess. I don't. Oh, all right, so yeah. Thanks for the opportunity. I, I did enjoy talking to you. There's no personal feelings. I This was fun. 
until I like got super confused and now you're making it into something that it's not and I don't appreciate it and I feel uh, violated right now. So violated. For my health and safety. It's nice talking to you. Bye everyone. Like what? I think that like, I say this cautiously because no offense if you're a guy, you're probably a piece of shit. So I say this cautiously, but I feel like it's a, um, I think at this stage of my life, if I hear a girl using psych terms, I consider that like a red flag. Like as soon as I start hearing somebody say like gaslight, emotionally abusive, like all triggering or whatever, like when I hear shit like that, I just instantly assume that's a red flag. And I'm like, um, <laughs> I'm disengaging. This is too stupid, but. What am I doing? What am I doing wrong? What, oh my God. I'm so confused. I'm so, and now you guys are trolling me. All right, all right. Okay, well, that was fun. I, I, I was being irrational. No one's trolling. I asked her, I asked, I asked her, I asked her to, I, Can we just be honest? Can we please be honest? You guys are fucking with me right now. Can, can I, anti-space and college, I trust you guys. Mini nines, I trust you. You are the voice of reason. <clears throat> you look crazy after, I'm so confused. All right, uh, hold on. No, W Erudite, you know, I, I, I liked talking to her. Uh. I have nothing bad to say about her. I think she's just a little, I don't know. Maybe I am the crazy one. If I'm crazy, then, you know, what does that make you guys, right? What time is it? Oh, I gotta, we got an hour until I gotta do the next one. We got an hour. So we can unpack, we can unpack. Uh, is there any reason to watch the end of this? Erudite point of view? Why? why? What would be always, the point of watching the end of her point of view? I don't know why you guys always, want me to watch any of this like, stuff. I genuinely don't know what people want from me. I'm just gonna. This live event is no longer available. Okay, this is, we're done. I don't know what else I'm supposed to get from this. Oh, Cherry wanted to watch. I mean, I think that Erudite maybe got a little bit aggressive, but I don't think it was like insane. I just don't think, um... Oh. Your whole chat is fucking baiting me. Oh, damn. I did not say that Erudite looks like the bad person. Like, mm -hmm. obviously, Erudite fucked up. I said, in that five minute clip, Merc makes it look like Erudite was like gaslighting her. Oh, maybe, yeah. And I was I think, interested in watching the whole context. Yeah, I feel like Merc, I think I said it on stream, I don't know how she was saying, but I think, I feel like Merc is just like, does not like any pushback, period. Like, I don't think she's the type of person that can handle. Maybe that changes in the future or something, but yeah, I don't think she likes, yeah. But does she like giving pushback? Merc? Yeah. Mm, Is it one no. of those things where I can critique, but you can't? No, I don't think so. I think she's just like the Joker. She just kind of like does whatever. The Joker? Yeah, like an agent of chaos. She just likes like memeing about. I don't think she. I don't think she's like super. She's. It's not like Sneeko. <laughs> she. I don't think she's like Merc is out here giving all sorts of criticism to people. I think she's just like, oh, well, people can do whatever they want. You know, that's basically what she is. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. That's that's your whole takeaway. Yeah, basically. What else my? What else can I say? Or what I don't else? know. I'm just looking for something to be interesting. Oh, uh, I don't think, I don't think she's very interesting. So I don't think there's much to be interested in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I was also seeing if um, Justical was gonna hop in and justify his fucking erudite hatred. I, I'm the one who's being pegged as a Kyla hater. Oh, Jesticle. Even though I love her. Jesticle's Jesticle very big in chat. Je in chat. Yeah, he's the dog meme. Okay, Jesticle in chat is nothing like Jesticle in uh, Discord. If he comes in, he'll be the most passive, shy twink boy you've ever talked to in your entire life. He's a nice guy. Yeah, he is. Chat. He's a nice guy. Okay. I agree. Oh, well, I think he's uh, clearly scared. Otherwise, he'd be in here by now. He is, and he would be. That's why he's not. All right. 
speak of the devil. Look at him. There he is. I'm not So hurt. my... Well, just, like, to start that off, um, I didn't see the context for Xena and Merc hating each other. It was, like, the first, like, kind of moment where Erudite had thrown something out that I don't think was really justified. And then I think things just sort of, like, spiral down from there. There was a Xena moment in this? Yeah, Erudite said, she basically suggested that her and Merc got heated. And I don't recall that happening, so I've asked people if they could find it. I mean, like my I, my impression I was Zena basically. It. Sorry, God. Well, I I, Zena basically say, like. Mm -hmm. Well, Darius had messaged her, and something was going on. It was like a bit. It was not real, yeah, right? The second say, they talked, they were like, "Was it?" A lot of people get heated with Zena, but then everything's fine afterwards. It's like just the type of. I don't was know, it a bit? Is it a bit? Are they bits? Uh, these are your people, Stephen. Do you know better than us? <laughs> Are they doing I only it? say it was a bit because it ended like the second they talked to each other. Oh, so that makes it a bit? Okay. Um, okay. Is there an erudite after talk? Somebody's oh. mentioning that she had an after talk comparing Merc to Max and Lev. I don't know if it's worth I haven't seen it. Damn, this. that's very interesting. I don't think I would compare Merc to Max or Lev. I think those two people are way more narcissistic and insane. And yeah. Maybe the reason for streaming is similar. I feel like Mark probably just likes the attention and wants a different job and wants to live like the influencer life, right? Yeah, but that's not what she said. She said she wants to feel connected in the world. She Isn't just likes attention like and wants to live the influencer life. <laughs> I think that's, I think it's okay. literally, she might say something different, but I, that's what I feel. I think she just like everybody wants to be an influencer and yeah. especially people that like attention. Twitter's yeah, doing this thing where when you click people's tweets, half the time it doesn't fucking load. It's so fucking annoying. And Lav doesn't want attention? No, I don't think so. Lav was driven by something way different. Wait, what? What? You don't think she wanted attention? I think there were other things that were more important to her than attention. If she just wanted attention, she would've just me and stayed on my stream for two months, right? She could have gotten so much attention from my stream or from anybody, any big streamer stream, but she can't. Why did you add the fucking you part? Well, we, I mean, because we'd already hooked up once. I'm saying that instead okay. she chose to literally go the exact opposite route of being like a narcissistic seductress looking for attention. And it says she literally torched the bridge with me to the ground, which was like the, probably the biggest clout connection she had. I'm just saying people, a lot of people like to make these assumptions like, oh, this person just wanted attention. This person just wanted clout. And it's like, I think if they just wanted attention or clout, I think they would have behaved in far different ways. There are ways they were. Yeah, but you, yeah. you imply as if somebody knows that they're on good terms, good grounds with you. I think people can get mind fucked and think that the bridge is burning, that you are getting tired. And their way to like cling on to attention is to be like the anti fan. I. Uh, oh, now we're running into the work. lavish smart memes because I feel like lavish uh, no, smarter no, no, than I that. I don't think she's. No, I think, I she's, think smarter she's smarter than that. I think she would have been oh, smarter than that, but who knows? Maybe I'm just wrong. I don't know. I'm just saying, if Lav wanted clout, her and Mr. Girl, I think that they went about it in literally the worst way possible. Like, yeah, I don't the know worst if there were. But they literally tried it, but Max lied time and time again, implying that he had like this bigger uh, pool of victims than he did. A couple people trolled him and fed him false information, <laughs> but they really thought that they had something. Maybe. Maybe. Well. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they thought that article was going to do way more. Okay, I still out. stand by that chat take, like, 100%, by the way. That Which if you one? pull up any streamer's chat and they know you just had a fight, and, or you're having a fight, and you like stare at their chat, criticizing what they're saying, you're gonna get wild shit popping up in there. Do you think Merc has 100%. stuff like that popping up regardless? Or do you think that's the only time, Gistical? Sure. Okay, no, cool. She that definitely has crazy point. stuff yeah. popping up all the that time. That was the whole point. But what is the point? Are you trying to say that she like molds her audience? I don't think she molds her audience. She's audience captured from like moment one. But it's a re it's a repeating cycle. Do you think her audience makes her say the hard R? No, but hasn't she like basically stopped doing that? Yeah, now she has. 
Okay. You don't think we're wait, wait, opening wait. our content wait, like wait, that? Wait, 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 wait. Did that conversation just happen or did it happen before she came on your stream? I think it just happened like a day ago or something. So like after she stopped saying it. Yeah. Okay. So she made the change. Oh, so the audience changes for what? instantly. Oh, just to go with the I just said I just article. said the audience oh didn't change. God. I just said the you you're, you're actually even, just making could, things up. Even, you forgot. actually don't even remember what did she said, do you? Hard, right? she oh, did, you just rewind right. rewind the stream, oh play it back God. for him. What was I think she changed? Dude, right. this guy. What was I this thinking? Is some my early bad, onset dude. dementia right here. I don't know what's going on. My bad. Um, <clears throat> wait, yeah, wait. so I just, I thought that was stupid looking at the chat. Like, I, I think every chat's like that. And hers would be worse, but like, not that much worse. There you are things you can stupid? do as a streamer to like limit that stuff, that. but it's pointless. What do you, what? Does that. What are you talking about? It's pointless to try to moderate your audience? No, your audience is just going to be like you. Like, there is there is some feedback loop there, yeah, but that's your audience the whole is just going to be like you. Yeah. That's why banning NSFW was fucking retarded, because it's not going to get rid of any misogyny. People are just going to act like Destiny, but an exaggerated version. And what? Destiny's never going to stop his ironic misogyny, so nobody in chat will stop actual misogyny. Oh my god, I don't think based. it was to get rid of misogyny. No, it, right? was. it was. That was step one in all of them. That was the entire anti-misogyny 2.0, because I thought if we just banned Not Safe Org, it'd be all good. He's webbing? Yeah, this guy does web. No, but Jessica, you understand Oh, look that. at, Destiny like, got lost in the conversation and now he's reading chat yeah. for answers. He's just like Merc. It's just like the Nick Fuentes debate when he was that, on his Jessica. phone. Crazy. Absolutely true. You really think that getting rid of not safe for work is like a, a dumb thing in his chat? Wait, sorry, you gotta say that again. My my headphones are dying really quickly. He was too busy reading chat for a response. No, 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 my headphones are actually dying. Do you think that get, getting rid of not safe for work is like a dumb thing in chat? Um, if you have any goal of like making women feel more included, I think it was probably not a huge difference maker. I think you could have easily just gone and set the, the filter to auto on and you would have had the same effect. Okay, but the type of person that would be posting that stuff, you don't think that that's kind of like keeping them in a pretty like bad place? Uh, almost certainly. Like I, there was, but I mean, like one person in chat that you, I would always associate with like hentai. This person, the yeah, only we all, thing that we they all would know post Post over and over and over is just hentai, and like I don't know what. Oh, oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gojo. Notice how like when um uh, notice how when we're talking about OnlyFans, it's like the most evil fucking thing in the world, but that's because women you're are gonna try to flip income. this and say something else. And if you want to get into sex negativity, if porn, you're not sex positive, that's fine. As long as I already won men, this argument. Why are you going back to an argument I've already won? Porn, scaring this is women out of the fucking room, now it's A OK again. That's fucking hilarious. I love the uh you I like admitted the flip that porn is bad the last time we talked about this. Do you want to go back to that place again? I love the flip there. No, porn isn't bad. Apparently we need to have it in chat, you're saying. We need this all the time. It's a really important thing, apparently. Like not a normal thing to share with people to do out loud. There's a lot it's, of strange it's stuff. It's probably that terrible. On the internet. I I agree. I'm just saying the reasons stated for doing it are stupid. Okay. Well, I'm at sex negative. <clears throat> there you go. You happy now? Now we're on the yeah, same page, fine. aren't we? Two wins on the same topic. I can't wait for the third time you bring it up. Uh huh. Nice. Um. Anyway, yeah. So I'll just say it here because I've said it in chat a couple times. Oh yeah. Um, Merck manifested a streaming career, and in two months, talked to Aiden Ross, Amaranth, Destiny, XQC. People here, they, they believe in liberalism. They've manifested depression. So I'm starting to look for sevens. Those are my angel numbers. Yeah. What do you think she's going to be in two yeah. months? <laughs> no comment. I'm no? out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, they all leave. Losers.